Hello my friends and welcome to my first modded Panzerkor 2 campaign. The patrons have sat together, they have voted, and they would prefer to see Storm over Europe, over the Panzerkor 1 Grand Campaign, 1945, and uh, 1944 Historical. This is what you guys want to see. So, we're going to crank the difficulty to Generalismus, because that's just how I roll. We're going to put that combat randomness down to 10%. And uh, one of the members of the team that made this mod said that they also put the combat randomness down to 10%. So, can't say like I'm not getting the intended experience here. Uh, we will shove undo to infinite, because I never actually use it, except to demonstrate something. But uh, you'll know if I'm doing that, because I will literally say, Here, let me demonstrate this thing. I don't know if that's going to be necessary or not, but we might, we might encounter strange, strange mechanics that need testing. I actually, I genuinely don't know a huge amount about this mod, so... Um, I'm not going to go for limited stock. Although I am certainly tempted by it. I think I'll leave it off for now. Oh, let's put Generalismus back on. For some reason, it unselected. Let's go! <clears throat> this is uh, apparently supposed to be quite hard. Do I press this or do I press this? Oh, did I remember that there was like a bug if you selected one of these incorrectly? Okay, let's go. Let's go! I hope I got that right. Oh well, if it breaks, I'll just try it again without selecting the button. I do not have my new computer just yet, as of the time of recording of this. Um, I'm still waiting for the case to turn up, of all things. But unfortunately, that is kind of important, so... <laughs> uh. Still, I'm not expecting problems. In this campaign, you can earn commendation points by completing bonus objectives. Okay. Happy days. Look at all those aircraft I've been given. Right, I'm going to play this as if this is the hardest campaign on earth devised by the most devious mountains. So I'm going to choose what I know to be good. <clears throat> um... Let's go with... Do I actually start with some artillery? It's probably garbage though. Hmm. Gull Trench Slog. Man, all of these really hurt right at the start of a campaign. Maybe go for industry connections in the Power Four. Minus 10% core slots.
Ha, <laughs> they made O for strength, minus three. <laughs> I think it was only like minus one in uh, the base game or something like that. That is a change I agree with. Overstrength is actually probably one of the most powerful things that you can do. And denying yourself overstrength had better be, you you know, it had better be worth it. So I kind of agree with that change. Let's go with Denied Air Force because early air sucks. And it just means I can't purchase it. Doesn't mean that I can't get it. We'll go with Industry Connections to offset that. I.e. I might potentially get some high grade planes that are actually good. And... Anti-air veteran. So I can use and abuse enemy air. Oh, that's three points now. Ooh. That's been made spicy. By spicy, I mean pricey. <clears throat> uh, maybe I can live without that. Uh, killer team. Let's go with flexible command and deadly grasp. Two of the power four. I wouldn't mind the other two of the power four, but we'll figure out if I can get them. Those are the two of the most important part of the power four. Perimeter control and Master of Blitzkrieg being the other two. Maybe I can also wrote in denied artillery and just rely on my industry connections to get artillery as well and capturing. <clears throat> I don't know how many 15 centimeter guns are going to be out there. But I could just capture what I need. Early early on in the campaign, artillery kind of sucks anyway. Aircraft and artillery just kind of suck early on. You're really relying on infantry, tanks, recon early. Of course some artillery is nice to get rid of entrenchment. Let's see if I can also live without the artillery. Trophies is now three points as well. Or maybe delayed... No, not delayed reinforcements. Uh, slow modernization. Can upgrade no more than three units per mission. That's actually not too difficult to deal with. Not if I really want to live without being able to get any artillery. Well, I see, I could receive good artillery via my industry connections, and I could capture good artillery, so... That's what I'm thinking. You know, I'll live, I'll live without purchasing artillery. I think, in this mod, 8.8 .8 guns can be converted into artillery, potentially. Or was that the Grand Campaign 1? Uh, uh. Let's go. Blitzkrieg. Perimeter control. I could take it off. You know what, I'm gonna do it, let's go. Trophies. We'll get our artillery by stealing it from the enemy. Good morning, Her General. We'll move straight to the point, as you have been briefed earlier by Abwehr. The Spanish Republic is going through a period of significant instability. Support of the extended coalition of Republicans, Anarchists, and Communists doesn't come cheap. And various concessions have been made that have infuriated significant elements of the Spanish society and the army. Officially, we are here to serve only in an advisory and training role, but unofficially, there's a significant possibility our training units will unfortunately... will be unfortunately attacked by rogue elements of the Republican military. Oh, right. 
Capture all victory hexes. Secondary objective, raid Alcabendus. I guess that's how that's pronounced. Secondary objective, destroy 16 undeployed Republican AT and artillery guns. Oh, sweet! Give me that artillery. <laughs> Just what I wanted. While our Spanish friends perform their advance to Samosiria, I think. They have requested our air support. We will advance on this village and secure it. Afterwards, we will proceed to secure Segovia and Alto de Leon. Furthermore, should we be efficient in our objectives, there's opportunity to cross the Gudermeria, I think, river and push towards... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry anyone who's from Spain watching this right now. Anyway, this town. Note that due to the element of surprise, we have the opportunity to destroy a significant number of Republican AT and artillery guns before they have the opportunity to fire a shot. It would certainly limit both our losses and damage to our Spanish friends. For the glory of the greater Germany. So he says. Readiness. It's quite useful. Oh, butcher! I played an entire grand campaign and didn't get one of these. This is a fantastic hero. <laughs> I get two copies of it. Oh man. That's going to be so nasty on recon cars. Or tanks. Okay, apparently I have more core slots deployed than I have core slots. I didn't take. No, I didn't. I'm like, I didn't take. Uh, I didn't take uh, reduced slots, did I? The answer is no. You're just over deployed on this mission, probably to prevent you from changing stuff without having to give things up. And that's fine. Okay, apparently horse drawn is all we can do. I am also barely able to purchase anything. Right. Soft attack 8 plus 5 is going to be amazing. Let's mark this with a camouflage so we know at a glance that this tank is ready to butcher people. Let's go with this fancy little red stripey number, why not? Oops. I grabbed the box there. Okay, and I have one copy of readiness. Let's put that on a recon car. Obviously, I already have a color for readiness, which I use, which is this one. Bring out the old black color. Man, this is gonna make such a huge difference. What what a what a great role of heroes. No like zero slots or anything, but Butcher is an amazing hero. Although perhaps not that useful in helping me capture things, let's be fair. That's a fire. That's a bomber. It's also a fire. So I'm looking at three tacticals, three fighters, and one reconnaissance plane. 
Let's give this a color so I know which one it is. Uh, I use white for the old surrender machines. What's a good color for a spy plane? Let's go with pink. And before, <laughs> before anyone says, oh, I'm trolling with my pink spy plane. The British actually painted their spy planes pink. It was a thing that happened. It, it really happened. I'm not lying. Oh, it's a spy plane that can shoot. Huh. How interesting. Hey, it's a victory tank. Militia. Okay, these guys are not... Not worth capturing. Sorry, but they are not. Spanish infantry. Ugh, why? Why would you stop like that? It's a truck. I don't even think it's got zone of control. Oh, it does. Huh, that's weird. Stuck in a river. <clears throat> okay. I don't know whether... So we know that there are scripts and stuff in the game that let you do things on certain turns, so... All this undeployed artillery... I don't know if it changes into... Uh, real artillery if you wait too long and then you lose the bonus. Okay, anti-tank gun. Super unhelpful because I don't have... I do not personally have any infantry. trying to sneak away. Steamroll time. Oh, you missed! Choo-choo! I'm just trying to get some overruns, really. I suppose I'll just go ahead and bomb this guy into the next life. Um, I didn't realize that this was out of movement.
So nothing. There's nothing here that I've seen that's actually worth capturing. Okay, my fighter can get over there and hurt that. Early planes kind of suck, though. Okay. <clears throat> Ten centimeter gun. They're all ten centimeter guns. They're all the worst. They're all the worst kind of artillery. Okay, this is the, tr the triangle of artillery that defends all these for the moment. <clears throat> 20 turns. It does not feel like a huge amount of time to cover all this distance either. Okay. Looks like my allies moving in. Wow, they surrendered. Sweet. I've never seen infantry surrender to an anti-tank gun before, but there is a first for everything. Oh, nice. The suppression on that is brutal. Let's get this air situation under control, shall we? Do me a small favor and kill this AT gun. Right, let's hold on to these for now. Hold on to my spy plane while I'm at it. Right, I don't particularly want to be in a rough. Well, it's actually just a rough tile, so never mind.
overrun, but sadly, no movement points left to actually capitalize. Right. They missed twice. Which is just embarrassingly bad. Another low ball. <clears throat> okay, he actually doesn't have enough movement. Okay, that'll do. That tank is encircled, so it can't do anything. I've sort of cleared away some enemies affecting my allies. Oh, don't tell me. This is going to be one of these missions where your allies are going to capture this which will be the last VP and uh, end the mission before you do the bonuses. That's probably gonna be it, isn't it? Okay, well, at least they seem to be attacking competently. That's uh, new. Hey, force march on a flak. Awesome. That went really badly.
Right. Overrun. Nice! Finally, a roll went in my favor. Honestly, that's actually just as fast as, uh, <laughs> just as fast as destroying it. Frontline Airport. I don't think these guys will move because they're uh, they're in a critical objective hex, so it would be kind of weird for them to move. But anyway, just in case something comes flying down the road although I can't imagine what that would be that would be fast enough <clears throat> I'm gonna presume that the Spanish will need some air support at some point but it can wait until I've secured my own objectives Six of sixteen. There's seven. Eight. Nine. The rest must be somewhere. Game planes suck. <laughs> hmm, I could probably capture that. Oh, it looks like quite a few of the trucks are on the uh are on the Spanish side. You better finish that Jeep. Don't let it live. Oh. It's a BT-5? What 
actually not a bad vehicle. In a special tactic known as these guys are not mine, so I do not care what happens to them. Uh, I'm going to lock that unit in. And use the infantry to poke it. Bum ba da bow. I love that. Fires. I think any of the anti aircraft guns are anywhere near this front line right now. So it's going to have to be. Nothing but fighters. Actually, I probably could have done a rebase strike here, but anyway, whatever. <sighs> Should I send a unit over there to help out? Or not? Well, there's an airport there, isn't there? So I could send planes to help at some point. No, I'm going to send one unit over there to help out, just just because we do not have a lot of turns. We have like 16 turns. How much I help them out though is going to be another question. my little uh, sort of triangle of self-defended artillery pieces. These two infantry units are hammered in, so... Some light suppression. I did that just to hammer the uh, entrenchment value down slightly. Okay. Guess we're just sort of stuck for a little bit. It's also going to rain! Ah, huh, it looks like they repaired it.
That jeep is being an absolute menace behind their lines. Okay, they got it. Okay, we're out of time. So that is it for now. But it looks like the Spanish have actually got this position pretty much under wraps. There's two artillery to take out there, which will take us to nine, leaving seven to find. And then we got uh, two of them here. So really, there's only five to find. We're probably not going to find them while it's pouring down with rain, though. These guys are encircled. A little bit of artillery fire should deal with that. UNL 35. Might be worth stealing. I don't know. Thoughts in my head. But that is it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.